Hi guys, welcome to Next Step with Cherry. So today we are going to see a vocational school that is currently open. So we almost missed this opportunity because I wanted to talk about it before this month, uh, in, the of, in the beginning of this month, but then I forgot. So um, I was called back to it and I think it's a very good opportunity for people that are looking into vocational school. The reason why I do advocate for vocational school is that vocational school, especially in Europe, are the ones that you will be able to get like practical skills and, you know, it's more of practical. So when I did my research on this vocational school, I also found out that there are opportunities for almost three internship while you're studying in the school. So that means that, and I've actually talked about it with a guest before who also confirmed that this particular vocational school, uh, the people that go to this school, they find it's easy to find a job in the country so that is the reason why we talked about it then and i think that a lot of people started applying then and most of them have gotten like good uh, positive response in the application so i think that now is a very good time because they just they started around 6th of may and they're going to close somewhere around next month so now is a very good opportunity for you to get all the required documents and if you feel like this is a course you want to go for the vocational school you want to go for then that it's a very good opportunity for you to gather all the documents and then you can go ahead and put in your application. So one thing about this vocational school is that you do not need a degree to go for it. So you don't need to have, you don't necessarily need to have the, and there is also no age limit for that. There is no gender that, you know, male or female, no, everyone can apply for this particular course. So this vocational school is absolutely free. And uh, there is something I found out on their website, but I don't know if it is, if it also refers to international students, but they say that all full-time students have access to a lot of uh, financial aid, which also include like meals in the school in the school cafeteria and everything but i don't know if that is for eu students or if that is also for like all the full-time registered students in that school so that is just that is just my observation okay so without wasting much time i'm just going to show you there are a lot of things that i need you to know but i want to show you so that you we, we will be seeing it and i'll be explaining it on my laptop so we know we will not make this video to be a long video so guys remember to click the like button please and also share this video with your friends that are looking into moving to europe with vocational education and also please like this video and and also subscribe to my channel please turn on the notification bell so you always get notification whenever i post a new video i will always try to post an important video so that you will not waste your data okay guys let's go to my laptop and i will show you and we will explain it more from there hi guys so we are going to go straight to it so we will not waste time i will suggest that you read through everything but because i'm just going to rush it because of time i don't want to make a long video so you have to read through everything but i'm going to emphasize on important things that you need to know so the first thing that you need to know is the implementation period of this program so this program will last for two years but why i like this program and why i suggest this program just look at it you see that from september 2023 to 20, uh, june 2023 24 is one year of the program and it will, you will have one period of internship then the next year that is september 2024 till june 2025 you also have two periods of internship so that means you have three periods of internship in two years studies so that means you will have work experience that will gain you a job where be, even before you are done studying so that is basically what it means the university this vocational school is called valga uh, vocational training center it is located in estonia so so I've talked about it previously with a guest, if you guys can remember. So I will just go straight to the admission conditions. So I will just click here, but I will leave this so that link in the video description so that you can look through everything. Now here, I'm going to list the document that you need to get and also uh, how you fill your application form. It is very important that you stay tuned. So this application started since May 8th and uh, you must submit all the documents in this email. Please don't submit half documents. Don't submit inaccurate documents because a lot of people are applying and people even started applying since I made the video around February, March. So you also need to meet up the competition. Now, which documents, what document are you going to submit to this email? 
one travel document that is your passport and this your passport need to be valid till 2025 and two you need your medical insurance policy this is very very important so you have to click here so that you understand this medical insurance policy if it requires you most of the medical insurance policies might require you to buy it in that country while others might just require you to buy an international medical insurance policy and this should start it should be one year insurance and it should be the it should be valid till uh, 30th of june 2024 it is okay if it is more than 30th of june 2024 but it should not be less than 30th of june 2024 so at least 30th of june 2024 it is now left for you to know when to start it so that it will end on or after 30th of june 2024 so please make sure that you get this accurate in nigeria you can buy it through alliance insurance in ghana also alliance insurance if they require international travel insurance so please click on this so that you read it and get it and then you also need to provide your high school graduation uh, certificate with great sheet and or so if you have this you provide if you also have your your university certificate your bachelor's degree your OA national diploma your higher national diploma you can also submit it with your transcript so for your bachelor's degree if you have only your uh, if you have only your high school certificate which is your WAIEC then I would suggest that you also get your transcript because they said certificate with great sheet so also get your transcript your transcript means from your secondary school uh, level one to your secondary school level three ss1 to ss3 or ss1 to ss3 ss2 however you guys do it so you also get that transcript so that they can use it to compare because they will need to assess your document so after assessing it they will know if you if it is equivalent to their level five or level four before they will now go ahead for the rest of the thing now you have to submit this another thing you will need to submit we are still going to come back to this application form but let us go to other things another thing you will need to submit is you need to submit uh, a confirmation or evidence of the basic level of English. So this you can use IELTS if you have. You can use TOEFL. There is no point. There is no uh, mark. If you have it, you submit. If you have TOEFL, you submit. If you have Duolingo, you submit. I mean, Duolingo is very easy to write. If you have it, you submit. If you have English letter, proficiency letter, proving that your bachelor's is taught in English, your high school was taught in English, you can also submit that. So they just need an evidence that proves that you understand and you speak English then another thing that is now very important is your letter of motivation so they say this letter of motivation include a personal SWOT what is SWOT SWOT is your strength weakness opportunities threats so threat is more that more like what do you think will, will might stop you from uh, from going to or what do you think might be a problem for you when you're studying this course so in this case uh, maybe you say maybe you know you are in a new land you're in a new country you have to understand the language maybe it will take a little bit time for you to understand you know but you have a strength of uh, you can learn languages fast you just need to find something that will be like a something that will hinder you not hinder you but can be a little bit problem when you will study that so uh, opportunities what are the opportunities what will this course give you what are you looking looking forward to uh, what what are you why do you apply to this course why do you choose this university why do you choose uh, Estonia what do you want to achieve so that is like opportunity you just need to write it in your motivation letter telling them from your story they will now uh, discover this strength weakness opportunity and threat so it is very important and then you have to sub you have to attach it to your submission so you did the deadline to submit this is next month 16th but you need to make sure you start gathering all these documents and that after that there will be an online interview the online interview will be on 21st and 22nd july 2023 and then the, uh, the confirmation will be on 25th july 2023 so students who have been selected must confirm their attendance no later than uh 30, 31st of July 2023. So in this regard, I would suggest that your medical insurance should be uh, somewhere. You can confirm with the university 
though if it, if your medical insurance can be more than the particular date the valid date it can be more than that so that means your medical insurance start date should be somewhere around august and then it ends august so you have one year so you have to shift it so that you can have one year okay now you also need to submit it alongside this application form so you just click on this application form you print it you 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 fill it so there is a place they will ask you to tick you tick and tick so you think that i'm aware that the, the you know the vocational training will process your data you tick yes i'm aware that it allow my education document to be forwarded to the uh to the education board that will assess it you tick yes i confirm that i have no obstacle to delay my study you tick yes i confirm that i have sufficient financial resources blah 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 you also tick uh, and to live in the hostel to cover expenses you tick yes so in this particular one if you want to show them evidence if you already have money in your bank account and you just want to show them yes you have the finance you can also print that bank statement and also show them this is just you know to just for them to just see that you have enough money so you see student for third world must have a visa valid blah 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 until this date so, uh, as confirmation of coming to study so this is when you have already done your interview and then the confirmation of study when they select you and give you the the thing then you start applying for your visa before you now start school you will have a visa before you will confirm in enroll in this uh, professional training you must have a visa so that is basically what it talks about okay you download it and fill everything then you sign and you submit it alongside other documents personal identification code your your uh, passport so you you uh, submit everything and then you can submit to this email you bring all the documents and you can submit to this email so if you have any any question at all you just send your information or your question here to info at vtosk.ee so you just send them an inquiry if you are confused about anything you send them they will then uh, help to guide you so guys that is it about this school i have taken a lot of time but i wish you guys success if you're applying and uh, please remember to share this video with your friends and also uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel bye guys see you on my next video bye